Good morning, everybody. It is 7.30 in the morning here, and Daylight Savings has me up bright and early, so I figured might as well take advantage of this because Alex isn't up yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and film a video. I have been talking about filming this video for a super long time, but basically today's video is going to be my whole kitchen organization video. I've also been putting off organizing my kitchen because I keep being like, no, I wanna do it at a time when I'm able to like really gut through everything and film it. And so there's been like little things here and there that I'm like, oh, I really should do this. And I'm like, wait until the video. So now it's the video and I can do the whole thing for you. I'm really excited. I feel like when I first moved in, I didn't set up my kitchen super functionally and now it's time to change that because there's things in here that just don't make any sense. Before we go through and start actually organizing things, let's give you a brief little tour. This has become my junk corner and I don't know how this happened, but I keep just putting junk here and not putting it away. A lot of the stuff is stuff that I have to shoot for brands and different things like that, but this can't be here. This isn't working. This is a lot of our pantry items and I have like these two tubs and I thought that that would help. It's not helping. This is just a mess. There's stuff back there. None of it makes any sense. This needs work. You move on to over here. This is also just a cluster. It's like all of our cups, olive oils, all of Alex's snacks, drink mixes in more random cups. It all just needs so much help. This area is like, okay, I don't love this. I did save these jars and I need to take the labels off because I'm gonna use the jars to help me organize because I just have things that I wanna put in jars and add to my jar collection. And then these I kinda wanna redo as well. There's a couple things up here that like I just don't use that often. And I think I need to swap those out and put new stuff in the jars to make more sense. This drives me crazy because this has ended up where all of our pots and pans and appliances go, but it's not really big enough for everything. And I don't use everything in here that often. And then it's dumb because over here I have like all of this space that goes all the way back and it's just completely empty except for my milk frother. So long story short, we got some work to do. First thing I'm gonna do is this kitchen island is gonna be like my workspace while I like reorganize everything. This has to get cleared off because this is not working. Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air and you know that I'm, I'm thinking so I'm gonna start with this cabinet because this is just so messy and I know there's a better way I can organize it. So I'm just gonna pull everything out onto the countertop and we're gonna go from there. I just wanna be free from the free. Feel love for the first time. I just wanna love. Evidently I have a lot of stuff in here. I think I'm just gonna go through and throw away the stuff I'm gonna throw away and then I'll look at what I'm keeping and we'll reorganize from there. Auto. I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me and we'd be Out of sight, out of mind why do I have like 17 different kinds of rice? Who am I? And then there's more rice over here. Like this is just so unnecessary, it's driving me crazy. I think I'm honestly gonna have to do this box and I'll just fill it with all of the different grain bags because there's a lot of them and I need them to be held in the same place. Okay, that actually worked really well. So I put everything in there. So I just stood up the spaghetti in the corner and then I put all the grains in the box and they slide in perfectly next to it. And then I have this bag of like brown rice and quinoa pasta and that's just gonna slide in there. I also have these and I think they will just go there. All right, this is what we have to work with. I think this tub I'm gonna make be like sample packets slash mostly hopefully drinks because I have a lot of like hot chocolate mixes. I have some protein powder samples, some pre-workout samples, and then extra boxes of tea and I don't have any other space for them. So, and then also my like stevia, which I only have a few left. I don't know what I should do. We're just gonna start putting things in this box and see how it works. With my eyes, don't wanna be the only one with the house key. Have something I'm proud of. I wish we were living in that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this, so this one's gonna go back now. These items, I just really don't know what to do with, so these I'm gonna put off, and we'll find a home for them soon. But this, ooh, it might be too much. I'm gonna fill up this jar. Out of mind, when I'm dreaming of you here for me. Out of sight. And now, this can go back up here. I still have a good chunk of this container left and I just cannot waste, like I don't like throwing away food. So this, I think I'm just gonna put in the top back left corner where it's really out of reach just because once that goes down, I'll refill it, but I'm not gonna need to access this basically ever. So truthfully, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed with knowing what my next sections are and the fact that I have so much empty space there and this is crazy in here too. So I think I'm just gonna unload all of these cabinets, put everything on the countertops and then start organizing and putting away from there. Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere 
Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating I'm officially overwhelmed. This is a lot to deal with at seven in the morning. But I actually do think I have an idea. This was originally Alex's snack cabinet, but I think I'm gonna move him into the corner and put all my cooking things in here. So that way they're more accessible to me. Also because I just think he needs more space for his snacks. So let's move some things around. Now we're gonna take a pause on that side and I'm going to put all of Alex's snacks in this side. And then this shelf up top, I think I'm gonna do all of my extras of things, so like extra hot sauces and that kind of stuff. And I'm thinking here I'll do all my teas and then maybe one I'll do all like the protein powders and cups and bottles and stuff. I also have like an insane amount of liquid IV. Thank you liquid IV for sending me all of your products. But I don't love that they're all separated so I think I'm going to put them all into this little box just to keep them a little bit more organized. I needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. And you know that I've been often dreaming. I am locked and loaded with my liquid IVs now. I am prepared for any hangover. All the cups. I do not need this many cups. This is overwhelming. Just in case any of you are new here, I do not buy plastic straws. I've had this pack of like 200 plastic straws that someone gave me for Christmas for like three years. And I'm finally like almost down to the end of them. I like using bamboo straws or metal straws, but like what do you do with plastic straws once you have them? It feels wasteful to just throw them away without using them. And also if somebody has a preferred way that I should be throwing them away, please let me know. Thank you so much. I don't even know what this goes to. Wow, that looks so much better. That is significantly more satisfying. All the other ones are back there. Next, I'm gonna tackle like the inside of the kitchen island area. Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. So I feel like I go through phases of having like different favorite kitchen appliances. Right now, Instapot's not it. I'm not using that that much. I don't really ever use my Nutribullet just because it's been leaking a lot, which is very annoying. I think these are gonna be the things that I tuck in the back corner. And then I'll use this space for all of my like most reached for items, which currently is like my Dutch oven, my air fryer, and my pots and pans. If you love for the first time, I just wanna love something about me. See something. That's a great idea in theory. Now that all the, like the cabinet areas are done, I think I'm gonna pull out everything from the drawers and do that next. Out of sight, out of mind, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. I have this little drawer right here, right next to the stove, so I think for that one, I'm gonna do my actual cooking utensils, which is really just these. And then in the one next to it, I have been putting my pot holders, and I think that works well. And then this little spoon rest, I like that in there. And I think that probably is the best place for my immersion blender. Happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. So before I had like the rest of my kitchen utensils in here and then my knives in here, but I think I'm actually gonna swap it because the knives is a longer block and I think it might hold this better. It's so complicated. I don't wanna bring you down. I just wanna be free. This is not my favorite thing in the world, but it'll do. Also, I'm never making zoodles, so I'm getting rid of that. And now that I'm looking at it, I still have this left over. Maybe just like that. We'll give that a try. I'm not going to deal with this section because this is no bueno. And the only things I know I'm going to leave out are I have just a couple oatmeal pumpkin chocolate chunk cookies left over and I made some homemade croutons. So those can stay out, but everything else needs to go away. I think I'm also gonna leave this out just cause I don't know where else to put it, cause it came from the fridge, but it's just gonna live there. 
And I've been thinking about this and this has been driving me crazy. I don't love that these are filled with like colored tea bags when everything else is just like loose leaf items. So I think I'm actually gonna end up taking that grain box that I just did out and filling these up with like pastas or rice or something and putting the tea bags in there because I don't love this for me. You could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating Okay, cool. That looks way better. All my other teas and stuff are still in there. This one is like super empty, so I'm gonna put this into this little jar. And then both of these, just because they've been sitting up on the shelves for a while, I'm gonna have them go through the dishwasher before I refill them. But then once I do, I think I'll probably do these in one of them, just because I think that'll be a cute texture. And then maybe rice, because I have a crap ton of rice in here. All right guys, so that's it. I have finished reorganizing, so I'm gonna take you on a quick tour. These, there's gonna be a couple new additions up there just because I am washing some of the jars right now. But I think that looks so much better. I'm so glad that the bright colors from the tea bags are not up there anymore. Then this is just a lot more open. I reorganized and moved some of this stuff around as well. Look at baby Alex. He's a cow. So cute. Countertops are all clean and put away. I leave that cutting board out. We leave our coffee maker out because we use it so many times a day. Then up here, this is like all of my drinks and whatnot. All of my seasonings and oils and stuff for cooking. All the rest of my cooking items. So grains, ramens, baking stuff and cans. And then up there is like overflow. So I have extra hot sauces and some pickles and stuff. Over here is Alex's snack area. So this is all his food down here. And then I just put our vitamins over here so that way they're easily accessible. Then up here is protein powders in our cups. And then up there I have room for like extra overflow. And the counters are all clean. The drawers are all nicely reorganized in a way that I think will just make way more sense. Glass bowls and plastic Tupperwares. And then our Instant Pot. This area is still kind of hard because this is such a small opening, but milk frother, glass Tupperwares, and then extra appliances that fit down there. Over here, this is like all of my utensils. I know it's not pretty, but this is way more functional at least. And then we have knives and then all of my spices. I love all my Trader Joe's spices. I find this so aesthetically pleasing. And then all of my pots and pans and my like air fryer and my Dutch oven because those are the two that I'm using all the time right now. All right guys, I hope you found this video interesting. I love organizing. This was a lot of fun for me and it just makes it so that way I feel like I've started my morning off super productively. It's not even 9 a.m. and my entire kitchen is organized and clean now, which is great. If you guys liked this video, please Please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you don't already, go follow me over on my Instagram. I post tons of content over there. I also do a monthly giveaway called the Button Box over there, and it is coming out today as this video is posted, so you're gonna wanna go check that out as well. And lastly, please hit that big red subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get notified when I post videos, and your support means so, so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air